All right, let's talk about drawing a figure uh, and movement. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to figure out what kind of movement we're going to uh, put our figure in and then use our simple shapes, you know, our circle, our rectangle, our oval, and our trapezoid. How are we going to use those to create some movement in a figure? So my figure, I think I'm going to make my figure running. So I'm going to start out with where am I going to put my figure on the page? And I'm going to start my figure out uh, right here, kind of over to this side. I'm going to start out with an oval, lightly drawn for the head. Now you see I've got this head slanted this way. I'm going to make my person run in this way. So when you run, um, you know, you're kind of, at an angle, you're kind of leaning forward. So my body is going to kind of be at an angle like this, leaning forward. So my head is going to be leaning forward. So it's going to be at an angle and I've got my shoulders. They're right there at the bottom of my head. And I've got to figure out what my left arm, this will be my left arm. What's it doing? Is it out front or is it behind me when I'm running? So I'm going to have my left leg, it's going to be out here somewhere, probably stretched out running, my back leg, my body. So if my left leg is out front, then my left arm is going to be kind of behind me. And I had to get up to actually see, and I had to pretend like I was running to kind of see where my arms were in relation to what leg was out front. And when my left leg was out front, my left arm was kind of behind me. So this is our shoulder upper arm and remember our circles are going to be our joints so it was bent and then I'm gonna make a circle for a hand today because when we run we usually have our hands balled up like this when we're running pumping our arms so no fingers today I'm kind of out here I'm gonna make it out here a little bit more and you see it's not a big deal to kind of draw over top of things if you draw light you can always erase what you've drawn go back in here add that hand so I've got this and I've got this trapezoid behind here is a waist and I said my left arm is back behind me then my left leg is gonna be out in front of me all right so I've got a hip and a little trapezoid upper leg knee and let's have it bent just a little bit. Now, I've got, I'm down here with my ankle. I'm gonna draw a circle with my ankle because that's a, also a joint. Then I'm gonna draw my oval down here for my leg. All right, so I've got my left arm behind me, my left leg out front of me. My right arm is on the other side of my body. Shoulders are still in line, so my shoulder's gonna be over there. And this one should be out front like so here's my lower arm and again we're going to use circles for hands all right and you can see you can see my right arm and my left arms coming off the shoulder here but once we start drawing you'll see that this arm is going to end up being behind the body okay so our left arms back here right arms out front left legs out front and that means we need to have our back leg back here so i'm going to draw my hip Let's have this one bent more like this. All right, so I have used my simple shapes to kind of plan out where my body should look when I'm running. So now I'm gonna go over top of it with my pencil and let's see if we can create what a figure would look like, all right? So here's my shoulder and my upper arm around here. body kind of comes off here this leg is going to come off knee remember this legs in front right this leg is going to be behind
backside, leg, back. Now I can go in and I can erase this line because that arm's in the back back there. I just erase some of this. I don't mind you leaving in, if you draw a light, I don't mind you leaving in your circles because it's going to show me that you know where your joints are. This uh, right arm is going to be on the other side of the body, so. Here, all right, I got a neck. Remember, this person's head is around here. Now, this head is way big for this body, and our heads don't look like ovals from the side. All right, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a chin, a nose, a forehead, and make it a little bit smaller neck and the back of the head and I can go back in here and I kind of erase this big oval and that's all you really need to draw today maybe I'll put a little ear in here okay but you don't need to draw eyes or anything like that we're just working on the shape of the figure uh, in motion okay now something else you can put down to show motion or maybe some lines coming out from the back of this person that kind of shows that they're moving along this way also. So we have a person running. Now, what we need to do is add a background. Remember, we need to fill up the space. We always talk about fill up the space. Like last week, I got a lot of drawings of figures where there's a little bitty figure right in the middle of the paper. Nothing else on it. So today what we're gonna work on is we're gonna work on not only adding motion with our figure, but adding a background, fill up the space. So if I am a runner at an Olympic uh, sport, I am gonna have to draw, let's see, I'm gonna have to draw something that I'm running on. I'm not just running in midair, so I'm gonna draw maybe a track. And tracks have lines, which are called lanes, because runners need to stay in their lanes when they're running against each other. So I've got a track with lines on it for my lanes. And let's see, I think that uh, when somebody is running, usually maybe if they run on the track, then there are people in the background in the stadium. So I'll draw a little light line for the top of the stadium. And now I'm gonna add some little circles. Now I'm drawing these light too, cause these are in the background. They're kind of just additional. These little circles are going to end up representing people's faces that are in the stands watching this Olympic event. And you don't have to put them, fill up this whole area with them, but we're kind of just putting them in random spots. And maybe this person right here has some arms raised. And this person has their arms raised, cheering. Maybe this person over here has their arms raised, cheering. And maybe, uh, let's see, because it's the Olympics, maybe they have some flags flying. We'll make the United States. And over here, we'll just make an Olympic flag. I think there's five rings. All right, so we have filled up the space. All right, so this is kind of what I want you to do. Not only are we going to work on drawing the figure in motion, but let's draw something light in the background and kind of fill up the space to kind of let uh, the viewer, which would be me, know where this person is and what they are doing. Okay. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, you feel free to email me or send me a message on Dojo and I will get back to you as soon as I can with any answers that you might uh, require. All right. Have fun.